Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. No, good afternoon, you'll be seeing this in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, I'm coming back on with the uh, Flower Fairy cover because the topper is now dried and I can start to rip it and then realise I probably should be doing that on film. Um, yeah, it does look nice though, doesn't it? It's dried fine, I think it is a little bit protected now with that Mod Podge. And um, yeah, it does look like there's layers there. So, and there are little bits that you can catch if you try, but yeah, I think it, it's fine. So we can now go ahead and um, tear around it, ink it, and uh, sew it onto the front cover. Um, I haven't done anything since I left you, so I haven't done that line up there for stitching, which I will do when I stop to sew. And um, I put some stick, stickles, stipples, stickles. Can you see it? Are they catching the light on there? I also mod podged it. I think you saw me mod podge it. Um, yeah, just because that's going on the front as well. It looks pretty there, doesn't it? But yeah, it's going on the front as well with this. Um, so yeah, we will we will tear around this and ink it and put it in place and then I'll switch off and sew it. Um, but I'm going to come back to that in a minute because yesterday when I finished filming what you've just seen this morning and I went downstairs, there was a parcel for me. And uh, then this morning, before I came up to film, another parcel was through the door. So I've got happy mail to share. Okay, so the first one, um, yeah, I have opened them, but I haven't opened what's inside of them. So um, I just opened them to see who they were from. Well, one of them had a return address on, so I know, but this one I didn't. This one, um, sometimes people tell me, um, you know, something's coming and I'm expecting it, but I wasn't expecting this. Um, oh, I'm eating hair. What am I looking for? I'm just looking for the card. So this is from um, Debs, who is Paper, Lace and Sum on uh, YouTube. So I will put her link in the description if you want, if you don't know where or see her or you want to go over. So it says, um, good morning to you. Here is your winnings from the comment on my video prize. Um, Hope you can make use of them. If not, um, give them away. Of course, I will make use of them, Debbie. Thank you so much. Um, in fact, it couldn't have been anything better. I didn't know I'd won. <laughs> I didn't know I'd entered. But obviously, it was it was one of those where if you comment, if you comment on someone's video, they just instead of advertising a giveaway, they just pick somebody out for a prize. I did it. I did it uh, a few weeks ago on mine and Violet. Violet won. And um, yeah, I'm going to do it again next month. I think it's a, a brilliant way to. Uh, yeah, reward people that are with you all the time and helping your channel and you know generally chatting with you. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it's it's like um, I presume it's spray. It's uh, it's a clever little is it closed there. I think it is. Yeah, it's stuck together there. So it's a folded it's a folded sheet. Oh no, it's an envelope. Look, it's a folded envelope. It's closed there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, with two. Two pockets there and there and these lovely now um deb's does um artwork lots you know she's a journaler but she does lots of um inks and paints and things like that yeah she's really talented at it and uh yeah i'd like to do more i, I said to her i'd like to use some um some inks especially but inks and paints in my journaling that's lovely that's nice this will be going in i've got a few things to go in now um yeah, my personal journal that I made before I went in hospital because I had so many things from people, so much happy mail, my happy mail journal. Yeah, so that will be going in there. Um, yeah, with cards from things other people have sent me and other, um, so I'll put that card with it so I remember. And this is an ATC card. Now I am <clears throat> in the throes of making a couple of ATC cards to send to Debs. Um, I certainly wasn't expecting to <laughs> to win anything because of it. I haven't sent them yet. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I want to do. So it is mixed media. So she's got texture, she's got gold, she's got paper, she's got printing. And it says, um, it's called Blue and it's one of hundreds she makes just to say thank you for coming to non videos. Isn't that nice? So she sends them off to people to say thank you. That's gorgeous. That might actually end up... Um, you know up out somewhere for a while before it ends up in the um in the actual journal to remind me of you and it's these stencils that she sent me i think she said they were uh, mandela medella 
medulla <laughs> stem cells uh, because obviously I thought well I'll better go better go hunt for a video and see if if I've missed something where she's she's drawn my name out and I did <laughs> it was two days ago there was a video um, with just with the drawer on which I'd missed oh wow and I was just on YouTube before I came on and I, I saw in my subscription uh, you know suggestions I can't remember who it was somebody script I think who said how I die coffee dye my paper with stencils wow there's loads of them absolutely loads of them oh, that's nice um yeah maybe you can't see i don't know i'll go through them quick because i don't know how good the uh, the camera's picking them up wow there are loads these are lovely thank you thank you so much Debs. um so yeah i'll be able to stencil with my ink i'll be able to use some for if i watch that video and learn how to do it perhaps some coffee dyeing papers and I have got some, um, not modelling paste, what do they call it? Something paste, textured paste, something like that, um, that I got free uh, when I bought some glitter from a company. Who was it from? Hachanda, I think. Yeah, I think it might have been Cosmic Glitter. I don't know. Anyway, got it free from, uh, from something that I bought and I've never, ever used it. And I gather that this is what you do with it. You put it through stencils and create, um, like Deb's has here texture so yeah i'll be able to have a play now because i didn't want to do it with my, my tim holt stencils i'm sure you can i'm sure that's what they're for but yeah so that could not have been anything better deb thank you so so much what a lovely prize and just just for having the, the pleasure of commenting on your video love it yeah so go over and i think it was i think she's just done a hundred hundred subscriber i might be wrong um yeah so pop over and have a look she is a uk um uh youtuber as well so she's she's localish, and then this one came this morning. I opened it, and I just had a look here, and then I thought, no, I better not go digging in because I'll never get it back how it is. And this is from Violet. Now, um, Violet um, comments on my videos all the time. We have we have quite a few chat backwards and forwards but I wasn't expecting this and she just she did just win like I said um, when I was opening Deb's she just won my um, little flower fairy book when I did uh, the draw for commenting on my video on a couple of the videos um, yeah so I, that's how she got my address because I didn't know she had it and uh, I certainly wasn't expecting anything isn't that gorgeous that's lovely that that blue card is like that blue card from the envelope that um, I made a month or so, not made, I used a month or so ago from Tanya. It is just such a beautiful colour, that card. Yeah, I think Violet has a, one of the big, the big shot cutting, uh, die cutting, because that's very precision, isn't it? The same, the exact same um, shape on the paper that she's matted onto it. Beautiful. And fairies, look gorgeous gold i mean i love bling i love fairies yeah beautiful and the flowers i don't know where the paper is from don't recognize it but it's beautiful love the corn flowers and lace all the things i love oh, oh there's another fairy inside another blingy fairy gorgeous oh right it's quite stiff so i'm gonna have to oh and more lace inside as well. Oh, that's that's a nice pocket. So that's another die. Yeah, that's a die cut pocket. That's that same that same paper, I think. Yeah, beautiful paper that violet. Whatever it is, is that stuck down? Yeah. So that's that's just the pocket. Obviously a die cut. Can you see? Gorgeous. Oh yeah. Um, some collage. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. So that looks like it's a lovely stamp she's got. Yeah, this is lovely paper, whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Another lovely... Oh, yeah, she's obviously got lots of flower stamps. Lovely. Oh, it's a different one on every page. What a lovely journal. Marshmallow gold. Oh, in the middle. Oh, wildflowers of Britain, yeah. Yeah, violets in the UK as well, actually. <laughs> it's a UK show this morning, guys. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I won't use it for a while, but I will use that because it's it's gorgeous. 
What a lovely, interesting fastening there as well. I never get my fastenings as fancy as that. I love that little, yeah, it's like a keyhole. Beautiful. Oh, Violet, thank you so much. Gosh, that's beautiful. And then this bag of lovelies. Now, I haven't worked out yet if Violet has an Etsy shop or if she just has die cuts for pleasure. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. I do know she has. She now has um, a YouTube channel. She's just told, I think it was yesterday, she told me, uh, um, not that she, at the moment, not that she goes on and um, demonstrates or anything. She just, uh, that's cute, um, shows the journals that she's made and I've just watched a few this morning. Beautiful. Right, what's in here? Wow. What isn't in here? Oh, I love that. That is an image I absolutely love. That's beautiful in the black. That's going to be nice with the fairies, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yep, I don't have any of these either. Carol sent me some lovely, um, uh, yeah, tabs. There we go. <laughs> the word came to me. Um, the whale tail ones mainly that I didn't have. Uh, in various sizes and I was chuffed to bits and these yeah these are just going to make my collection even nicer and there's loads of them wow violet now these look like these teeny tiny tabs can't pick that one up yeah they are they're li little tiny fairy tabs it's a lovely card that oh yeah this, look there's some whale tail ones there beautiful oh Oh, I really am made up. Sorry, guys, if I'm gushing too much and driving you mad. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Again, beautiful with a fairy on that. I've got a fairy on my mind, haven't I? Right, I'll hurry up and then I can do an hour over these when I'm on my own. That is just beautiful card. Whatever that is, that's lovely. And the purple. Oh, and daisies. And I'm seeing bling. Oh, there's some of those with... Oh, that must be that fastening that she had on the front there. Ah, I see, and a back to it. Fabulous. Oh, look at those beautiful colours. I am absolutely made up with those. I just, I feel like it's my birthday or something today. I really do. Oh, so sweet. I love craft card as well. How sweet is that? I can't help but fold it over. Ding. Beautiful. So, bling. Let's get these little... Oh, there's a door. That is a fairy door, isn't it? Oh, it opens. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. The fairy door and the log and the birds. And then, yeah. Oh, look, mini, little mini fairies. These are like the, some of the ones that she's put on that beautiful um, journal then. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, a plethora of fairies can't pick them up. Wow. A fairy swinging on the moon. Oh wow. What very intricate die cuts these are. are. Such pa you must have such patience popping out all the little all the little bits. Fabulous. Right. I could sit and just play with these for hours guys, but I won't <laughs> I won't drive the rest of you mad, but Violet yeah, hours of fun there for me, definitely, definitely will be sitting here just playing for a bit, oops, with those. And that's just one packet, look, there's more here, gosh. Well, these I spotted straight away and then I thought I better not look. I recognise this straight away, this is Flower Fairy um, book page, definitely. And the, this is, these are ticket dies, so she's cut them cut the tickets out and put it onto the actual the backing of the ticket and it, it's layered and then it's got like a, a line that makes it look layered again gorgeous oh just absolutely gorgeous of course I won't want to use them won't want to put those in a journal and send them off but I'll have to after a little while <laughs> this is um it's like filigree isn't it beautiful uh, page edges and Wow, yeah, you, you certainly do uh, a lot of die cuts, Violet. So if you, if you don't have an Etsy shop, you should, because <laughs> I would buy these, definitely. They are beautiful. Just beautiful. 
Oops, can't pick them up, of course. Oh, I'm gonna have such fun. Right, and that looks like, so I've seen these, but I've never had one. Oh, I might have had one, actually, that I think I've put in my um, Happy Mail book. These are, I believe they're Tim Holtz dies. Mm. Um, yeah, well you put, I'm sure you've seen them, you put lots in. These are nice. Oh, they're good, look. Fasten them together, like picture frames. Wow, oh, stunning colours. That's beautiful. It'd be a shame to put something in that one, wouldn't it? Unless it, you have it so it comes out, so you can then see that beautiful polka dot. There's that lovely blue card. Isn't that a lovely colour? Oh, yeah. That look, I was just going to say, that looked framed, so wow. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I've not seen those. I've not seen anybody with those. That's nice. So that's like a, a fancy cut piece of edge. Looks ripped, but it's not. I can see it's die cut. And then that lovely punched. Yeah, they're gorgeous as well. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. Oh, this, this is that lovely paper in envelopes. So I'm guessing you've made these too. Cornflower blue. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm gushing too much. I'll try and stop, but whoa, whoa. The Phlox Fairy. Oh, I see you've made it into a journal card. Oh my. Michaelmas Daisy. They are beautiful. So that's more Flower Fairy. I might have to make myself a Flower Fairy. I should really make myself a Flower Fairy journal to keep, shouldn't I? I love them so much. And then big envelopes, butterflies. Wow, and that, yeah, gorgeous, that one's nice as well, that's a really nice bird on there, love, oh, I'm so, so happy, both of you guys, thank you so, so much, I, oh, I'm really thrilled, so if it took a lot of effort to, you know, put those together and get them to me, Trust me, it, it was worth it because I'm over the moon with them. Really am. Thank you. Okay, sorry sorry to the rest of you if I've just given you a bit of happy mail envy. <laughs> I know a lot of you like to see. Um, shall we get back to this then for those of you that are, have now had enough? Right, so let's tear around this. Oops, there's my bit of lace. I'm still liking that bit of lace. That's, uh, oh, don't tear his wing, Denise. He won't be happy. He won't be whistling then, <coughs> only in pain. Yeah, so I need this card off is what I'm doing. I need it to be, and I might have to go back and nip bits more, we'll see. But I need it to be, um, yeah, not a uniform, not not straight sides and not yellow. <laughs> but I'm going to ink the edge a little, a little bit. Um, and I'm wondering if to ink it in my blue rather than my brown, which will mean I need a blue dobber, unless I've got one there. Right, what does that look like? Now we've now we've torn around it the first go. A little bit square there. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's ink it and see. So let's move that. We don't want to be dropping ink on there. Um, where are my inks? Hmm. I can see the dobbers. I'm a clean dobber there. Oh, it's one of those that don't want to stick. Oh, that looks like a blue one. Oh, yeah. Use that in the blue look and it hasn't stuck. I wonder if I can stick that back on quickly while I find me blue ink. Blue ink? I've used that this morning as well. Blue ink. Rhymes with, but isn't the same thing at all. Yeah, I think what I'm doing here is just pushing all the bits down instead of digging them out with the glue. Right, I hope you've got a better view this uh, afternoon. I've, um, oh, that's better. I noticed the, uh, the, the camera was a bit too far away for the previous video and you couldn't really see any detail. I apologise for that. I hope it's better now. Let's see if that will grab it. Um, might need to just stand up. You just bear with me a moment. Yeah, I better unhook myself. I'm not going far, I'm only standing up to reach. But if I take 
you. I'll take the camera and everything. Oh no, I know. I think I did put them over here where I could reach them. I've got some glue standing up decanting. Let's put that somewhere safe. <laughs> That's one fabric tack bottle into another. Yes, here we go. Right. Oh, could you hear me? I'm remembering to put it back on. So we've got um, chipped sapphire. What are you going to stick on my dobber? No. I wonder if I can just do it in my hand with that. I'll probably end up covered in blue, won't I? But I'll give it a go. Oh. So. Yeah, I've got glue on the other side of this now because we don't want a lot on. We're not going mad crazy. Yeah, that's working fine. Just something a little bit different from the brown, isn't it? And it's a blue cover. So we might as well have blue distress. Yeah, I'm pleased with how that's turned out with the Mod Podge on it. It, it definitely has, feels like it's got a bit of protection on it now. Um, rather than just the paper. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's the same blue that's uh, been stenciled on the back of that paper. Good move, Denise. <laughs> okay. So you're a double without out on you now. Um, close you up. Let's move this then. Oh, and that's what I need to do next. I keep losing that fairy's world. I need to... Um, to spine in. What's the word? Score. There we go. Right, this is just supposed to be a quick video really as a top up, but yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Looks a whole lot different without the um that yellow border, don't you think? And then when this I mean I can't decide which I want on the top and which I want on the underneath of these beautiful laces, but oh, it's deciding for itself. Well, the pink's the biggest, the purple's quite bright, so something like that. Where's that on? Yeah, it's going to be lovely. Right, let's stop admiring it and get something done. So let me just get my um, score out. Now, what I did do on here, because um, I am having trouble with the measuring, the measurements across here and halving them. They just don't seem to make 100% sense to me. So what I've done is I've marked halfway with a pencil. So I just want to go the same amount either side of that halfway. It's going to be covered, so that's fine. Um, just to create a small spine so that um, I can get two signatures in. Right, so that, I would say that's in line exactly with the six, would you believe? And yet that does not seem, I suppose it is in line with the 12 anyway. I've, I've double double checked it. So shall we go one either side? No, let's go, what does two either side look like? It's quite a big spine. But then we do like to feel chunky. Okay, finished talking to myself. I'm going two either side <laughs> to, what are they? Sixteenths, are they? Sixteenths of an inch, I'm guessing. Oh, go from the top again. Am I in the same? No, I'm not too in. Concentrate, Denise. All right, sorry if my head was in there. I hope it wasn't. Don't you feel like you're going off? I can always do this pulling it towards myself better. So I don't know how good your view is there now, but hopefully I will be. It just seems to go off there. Oh, and then one to that side see how we go. What I want to do is just bend it where I've um, scored it and it'd be nice and straight on <laughs> both sides. Is that going to happen or is it not? We'll see. Right. Uh, which way is it easier to bend? That way I think. Of course where I've glued it is going to come bubble up a little bit. That's fine. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, I didn't quite mean to just throw it on the floor but It 
hasn't got to be an exact science in as much as the spine's got to be really straight but we do want and this is one that's got three layers in it so they're all coming apart we do want the actual page you know the, the front and the back to be see when you do that it isn't let me do the other one as well gosh I'm weedy It. let's get the ruler in like I used to do it where is my ruler I'd forgotten about this I always used to do it like this at one time and then um, where is my line you see my line disappears that's why it's not straight my line goes off that's it that's where the line should be oh yeah, it's very thick. It's thicker than normal scrap. Well, there's two and a bit pages here because I had to cover one, so of scrapbooking in a thick card. So it's pretty thick. That's better. I'm getting a straight. Oh, I'm getting a straight line now, I believe. Hmm. Do you? Sorry, that was right in your face. Okay, we seem to be more, yep. That's better. And then push it the other way. And get the other one going. I don't want you going over. I don't want you going over. Right. to just trim that edge would be the easiest thing to do 14 and a half yeah 14 and three quarters I just need to trim that edge and it's just really one of those let's see if I can do it with the scissors save me getting the really big cutter out because yeah that would mean turning the camera off putting it on the table taking the whole table over And I've got, I don't know if you can see, little lines there to follow. Yeah, so you can see, look, there's like three layers. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, lovely. So, yeah, it does take a bit of effort, that, and you can see it's a bit uh, uh, creased in the middle, but um, it'll all be hidden. And it's quite strong. I don't think it needs, no, it's strong. By the time the material's sewn on it and... Um, Yeah, I'm going to, where's the other piece? Where's the other piece in there? Here it is. Um, so this is the outside. I'm going to put it on with glue stick, is what I'm going to do. So I'd already, I was laid in bed last night thinking about that actually, thinking, well, why didn't you just put a bit of glue to keep it in place? Because it obviously stayed in place where the glue was. You know, it didn't have to be fabric tack because it's not glue that's holding it, it's just, long term it's just glue that's holding it short term um so yeah i'm going to do that i'm just going to put some glue round and about not too close and then somebody i think it was denise i might be wrong might have been jody but i think it was denise who said to me in the comments well, why don't you just put some glue stick on it <laughs> and i said to her yes we must have had the same thought at the same time why didn't i <laughs> i agree and of course, if I get it in completely the wrong place with glue stick, I can just pull it off um, and move it about. Yes, yeah, so if I was doing that with fabric tack, it would be all like, through there and all over me now, wouldn't it? And that, yeah. So, right, I can't do it with this yet because I need to. I need to sew that line up there before I sew this on. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to sew that line up there. I'm going to do the same with that. Uh, fabric tack it uh, no glue stick it and just stick that on and then I'm just going to go all the way around um, on the machine sewing machine in a zigzag and we'll see oh no 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 I'm not am I? I've stuck that down 
Come out, come out, come out. <laughs> What's she shouting at me? Yes, this needs to be on first. Denise, at least I found out now before I all was stuck. Right, so I'm going to sew this on. I'm going to sew that line up there and then I'll come back to you and, and let you see me stick it on again. Okay, I'll be back in uh, two blinks of an eye. Okay, I'm back again and I remembered to put my microphone uh, back on. Um, yeah, I've only gone a few minutes. I just uh, did a couple of wavy lines around that um, topper and then I stitched it on just with some zigzag around it and um, I've just glued this. I've just um, fabric tacked it on the top so I might catch um, some of that lace hopefully when I go around uh, stitching. But we'll see. I don't know. I might lift it up and not catch it. We'll see. I just wanted it fluffy. Now I'll probably lift it up if I can. And um, yeah, I sewed the other the other line down that pocket. It's not quite in the middle, but um, I don't know what it will be. It'll be fine, I think. Don't know where it'll end up on here. Yeah, slightly actually. Yeah, just slightly over the spine. Um, and it'll be in the middle, won't it? So let's just, let's have a look. Um, I didn't want to make it too huge. Probably should have moved it further that way. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be the left of the spine, but it won't matter. But once the signature's in, you probably won't even notice. And it, the pockets are actually stitched down. So that's the main thing. That's something, you know, it's a learning curve. <laughs> that's something I'll be checking for next time. Right, so... Um, I stuck the front on first, but I think I'm going to stick this on now. So we'll, we'll try again, back where we started from. Remember, this was your extra video today, so I wasn't supposed to be on a long time, but, you know, I spent all that time looking at that beautiful Happy Mail, and, yeah, Happy Mail does make you happy, I have to say. That really has <laughs> really made my day, all those lovely things to play with for my crafting. All things that I haven't got, there's nothing there that I've already got, so, yeah, that's fabulous. Um, what have I got to tell you today? Not much. Neil's going back to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, so there'll be nobody here to stop me doing <laughs> stop me doing things I want to do. Yeah, that's everybody's worry. But um, I think that needs to go the other way. I need to put this on there. Let's move that over there. But yeah, I'm going to be. I've got lots of plans of things I want to do, but I know I'll be. I know I'll be sensible and I know I'll barely get any of them done. <laughs> it's just, you know, you, you ladies will know whose husbands work that you just don't get things done the same when they're at home. And don't get me wrong, I love having him at home. That's not quite in the middle. So that's what I mean about the glue. I can take it off and reposition and it's not. It was only like a millimetre out, but it wasn't where I wanted it. Is that better? No, nope, that's better sideways, but now it's too far down. So yeah, that glue stick was definitely a good idea. Whoever it was that said that to me. <laughs> and it could have been one of three of you. So, oh. No, I'm still going too far down. Go up, Denise. Up, up, up. And left. Yeah, how can I make it such hard work? <laughs> But yeah, it definitely is a, a thing to do, that glue stick, because it's that made life so much easier. Yes, I'm quite a way away with my centre. Never mind. I'm not bothered, so don't you be. <laughs> love, just love the colours of that. Love it. Um, yeah, this is my problem. I stop and admire things far too much. Although, can you? If that's the joy in it. Right, and I've got that kind of where I want it, so let's let's do it this way. This one has been glued once, so this will just reactivate what's on it. Oops. Also, it'll stop me getting that bagginess. Do you remember in that other one that I did yesterday or the day before? The day before for me, but yesterday probably when you saw it. Yeah, just the front of one was a little bit baggy. 
just a little bit but noticeable to me and probably to you so yeah this glue stick will stop that as well yeah and it really hasn't bled through anywhere so i'm really pleased with that the way that's yes we're fraying <laughs> we're definitely fraying um what i do with my scissors got my big ones here so yeah i don't know well i suppose like i said once i get it stitched the stitching will stop the fraying eventually but i may have to just keep going around and trimming a bit um because it is very linen is very i don't know if it's loosely woven or what but it does it does uh, fray very easily if the edges are not uh, what do we think we're happy to sew yep yeah, i think we are i think we are okay so i'll stitch it and i'll be back with you in five seconds time count three two one there you go five seconds so yeah really pleased with it really pleased how it uh, turned out it was so easy to sew um because i knew i was staying on the edge all the time still fraying a little bit look but that that's good i want to fray it um yeah that glue stick that glue stick made all the difference it really did so yeah it's just going to be a matter of constantly pulling those threads off until you get look at that lovely lovely frayed top now now it's going to be like that all over once these threads are all pulled and trimmed um it won't take too long actually it's quite fun <laughs> it's quite fun pulling them and trimming them uh, yeah but i'm really pleased with it i'll show you i'll show you the inside so i've um zoomed in so you can see hopefully that beautiful topper now because you didn't get much of a view yesterday did you yeah i'm really pleased with the topper um love the fabric i think that's just a bit of i don't know it might be a bit of bagging but it didn't feel like it was bagging these pockets are lovely and um yeah tight at the top so some fabric pockets can get really really baggy that maybe looks it but it's not <laughs> it's not trust me it's um this stitching is holding it perhaps if i'd have done another one there and then had three or four perhaps but it's too late now it's on um yeah and these needs you know these need fraying so that they come back like this which they will but yeah let's see if we've got a card to put in there and oh we've got this beautiful baby look he's not staying in there so that was my postcard challenge but it'll take a nice big this is the, the one that was the yeah they're going to take nice big beautiful cards in there gorgeous gorgeous um yeah so that's it that's all for today i'm really really pleased with it i'm now going to go play with all my goodies um do a little bit of trimming now tomorrow we will be making some more ephemera for it i believe tomorrow is what day is tomorrow friday yeah and then yeah saturday and sunday we'll do the signature that seems a nice thing to do over the weekend doesn't it so whether it's one or two or three videos um yeah we'll get some lovely papers together and get the signature together and then yeah after masterboard monday and uh, what do i do on a tuesday the facebook challenge yeah next sort of wednesday thursday we'll be filling it and excuse me embellishing it and all those lovely things yeah so give me a thumbs up chat to me still in the comments let me know um yeah what you're up to um yeah pop on and have a look at uh, violets um she's only got three or four on there uh journals that she's made and they're only a couple of minutes long so yeah nice to just see and get some ideas and uh yeah give us some thumbs up and pop on to deb's who is paper lace and some on youtube and uh yeah maybe subscribe to her it's nice to it's nice to get to know these uh these youtubers when they first start out because um i think i was saying to her there's so many talented crafters that are not youtubers and they just think oh well i'll have a go and actually they they you know they're really good crafters more, you know talented better than some of us that have been on youtube for a year or two so yeah the, the ones that are you know not got many subscribers they're the ones to to keep your eye on initially okay thank you i've waffled enough i will um see you tomorrow i hope you have a lovely lovely day please give me a thumbs up bye for now